Today we're out here at Succulents Australia and we're looking at Sempervivum bowls or dishes. This is a great example. It's established in a large bowl. We're going to show you a few others and then we're going to show you how you can make your own Sempervivum bowl or dish. Here's another example of an established bowl. It's looking great and as you can see, it's bursting with new growth at this time of the year. Sempervivum are commonly called house leeks, and yes, they do flower. So this is where you start with Sempervivums in tube stock. Choose your varieties, choose your bowl, choose your planting pattern, and you're ready to go. You can plant all of one variety, or you can choose to plant a mixture. And who better to take us through this process than James Lucas, the owner of Succulents Australia. Okay, I'm selecting a range of colours which I think will look good in a bowl and it's good to get a representation of all colours. I know reds are attractive but also Sempervivums are very different at different times of the year. So it's a good idea to get a really wide range of colours. Right. Bronco's really nice now. Oh, this one I, like. I like this one. Big grey. Gamby is beautiful. Irazu is looking fabulous. And I'll get an Arachnoides, one of the hairy ones is really good. When you're picking these, you really need to think about some large and small ones because you need to get some variation in the bowl. Here we have about 14 plants, so we've got enough there for a bigger bowl and another group for a smaller bowl and we're going to try and do the three minute bowl. There's two ways of making bowls. You can get a rather large dish or bowl and you can make a pattern like a circle or ring. Um, in the smaller bowls, that's hard to do. You're often better off to pick a selection of good colors so you just get random color range in a bowl. Okay, potty mix. It's reasonably simple. Basically, it's pine bark. I use reasonably fine pine bark because we use a lot of small pots, but in it is two grades of sand. You have washed river sand, and you have coarse wash river sand, which is about three mil gravel. They're the main ingredients that make up this mix. It does have a few other little things in it, but we also use fertilizer. Here we have our fertilizer blend. It's predominantly dolomite, a little bit of osmocote and Gromax. And you really don't want too much fertilizer because it makes them grow too fast and succulents are better growing a bit slower. They have better color. Here we have two gravels. This one is three mil washed river sand. You use this one for really opening up your mix and really getting good drainage. And you see it pours very easily. Bowls and dishes can really use a lot of soil mix, which is really quite expensive. But this will show you an economical way of saving on your potting mix and having no ill effect on the plant. In fact, the aeration in it actually helps the plants grow better. It's simply polystyrene broken up and it makes the pots so much lighter. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can do a bowl in under three minutes. First of all, a bit of gravel to open her up. Don't forget, a bit of polystyrene in the bottom, makes your bowls lighter. Now, doing these, you rub. Keeps the roots, big one in the center, and you'll notice it's a bit high, a small one on the edge. Medium one. And a bright green. Tuck it in around the edges, firm it up with your thumb. Now I try to leave it so there's a little bit of air around the edge. A little bit of gravel. A 
lift back your plants so you can get it the gravel in around it. Fella. We're going to do a heavy bowl now and the planting in this is a little bit different and this is where the polystyrene really comes in because that's a heavy bowl and it does make it lighter. Okay, first, a bit of extra three mil gravel. Really lightens it up. And I think the secret is about that much. Now, when you do these, I really think you dome it. It's the best way. When a pot is rounded, it looks much more generous. Preparing the plant to pot is easy. Out of the pot, rub the soil off. You still keep all the roots, just drop it into here. That helps it re-establish really well. Now we'll rub through a little bit of fertiliser. Small handful. Part fill around your plants, don't fill them up too much. Lift up the babies. Take, lift them back from the wall a little bit of the pot. Tuck it in, firm it up. Add a little more soil. And I'm sure you can see that this pot is domed. It's a much, much better look to a pot. Here we keep a range of gravels for doing topping work like this. This is like, a bit like Tuscan screenings, but washed all the clay washed out of it. Scoria is a popular one. This is about three to seven millimeter. Seven millimeter Torquay is very white. And then we have a more golden colored one it's from Goulburn. So many, many colors and shapes. With a bowl this size, you'd probably use something like this. For a bowl this size, I'd prefer to use the Tuscan screenings. They have good color and it lifts the color of the plants a lot. Okay, Tuscan screenings. You can run it through with your hands, but it falls off here very nicely. So you lift up your plant, sprinkle a bit between. And again, I think you can see this is domed and it's actually not too heavy. Okay, watering. Gravels always come up really lovely after a water. Look, a bowl like this probably might only need watering once every week or something like that. You don't water too often. Um, Overwatering succulents is the kiss of death. So just go a little careful on that. Also, these bowls really would like semi-shade. This is full sun here. This is semi-shade here. They will do much better in semi-shade. Here you can see the line. Full sunshine here, semi-shade here. This is more ideal for this sort of plant, or morning sun. 
and where it misses out on the afternoon sun. When January, February comes, the sun is just a little bit too hot for them and they are inclined to shrivel and burn. This is approximately 50% shake cloth. We're now in late spring. This one was potted approximately six weeks ago and you can see that within six weeks, this will easily look like this and more. This has been grown under 50% shade. You can see how rich and sort of strong the colors are. They do get good light, but not burning light. In summer, these run the potential to burn. Morning sun is okay. The hot afternoon or western sun is a bit difficult for these plants and they can burn. With these bowls here, I would really recommend a potting once a year. And you just do a little bit of refertilizing, pick a few of the best heads, plant them back into here, and just one feed a year is enough. But look, they will last several years with no feed, but they do get smaller and a bit leaner looking. And the best time to repot them is spring, but they can be potted at any time, but spring is the start of the growing season for these plants. Succulents Australia has a collection of over 120 sempervivums, as well as Echeveria, Pachyveria, Cotyledon, Crassula, and Horworthia, plus many other popular succulents, as well as some many rare and unusual or exotic varieties. For further details, contact James at Succulents Australia, retail, online, as well as wholesale. If you're interested in Sempervivums, check out the video that follows this one for a look at a few very interesting varieties. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on all sorts of succulents. And as always, good luck with your gardening.